to have your own DIY carnival games. They're actually, it's actually easier than you would think. I know you're just an aficionado when it comes to DIYs, and these are phenomenal, but so much fun. They're fun, and they're easy, and they're affordable. These were really Bingo. inexpensive, because you want to know what my material of choice was? Plywood. Plywood. I had some extra plywood kicking around. I yeah. created three games out of two sheets of plywood, so about $40 investment, and then just some paint, and really, you can let the creativity flow and kind yes. of do just about anything you want. So because I was using ply, it comes in four by eight sheets. You can see the larger boards here. I actually cut two feet off of the top at the hardware store. I just had it cut, had them cut it for me. Yep. So with the leftover pieces, the first game that I created is right over here. And this is an airplane, a paper airplane toss. I love so it. The idea with this is you set up just a little table station. You've got your paper. Now everybody I've found has a very distinctive way of how they think their airplane is the most aerodynamic. Right. So the challenge begins. <laughs> Everybody tries their skills at building whatever that airplane is, and then you set up a marker line and then just tr toss them just through and it. tally the points. And you can do a points board over yes. the course of your party yeah. and see who the tossing winner is for something like that. You want super, someone super to try simple. it? Sure. I would no, love where's someone Nolan? to try it. Nolan, come over here and give the airplane toss a try. Let's We've see. Your mom here. made it. So let's see if you can no, nail it. over here, buddy. We'll get you there next. Here you go. Okay, you stand airplane. Right there and see if you can get some. Oh my in? gosh, that's so far. Oh, go closer. Go a little closer. A little closer. Oh, Let's that's pretty good. End. You got a couple more go tries closer. here. Closer, go closer, 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 closer. Oh, oh so, close. so close. So close. Closer, like really, like really like right close. In front. Like do go it, right do for it. it. <laughs> yeah. to the big sheet supply one. Yes. So I wonder I'm... what we're gonna do here. <laughs> Does the splash? No, then come on over here. So the idea with this, you can go right over right to over that there. side, buddy. The idea with this is the summer gets hot. And yeah, it does. It's a great little cool off station. <laughs> and I also figure, because it's kind of along the premise of a dunk tank, yeah. if you want to do this in your neighborhood for a block party, this is a good barometer to figure out what neighbors dislike you. They're <laughs> likely the ones to line up first to splash you, right? I wonder so, who we're going to get to get dunked, though. This is going to be a tough one. I, you know what? Here's a kid. Come on in here. <laughs> Can we give him some applause? <laughs> Son. The mechanics of this, just to show you really quickly, we haven't filled it with water yet. It's all just based on really simple brackets, yes. um, hinges, and this, just some Frisbees and some two by four. Oh. Really, really simple. So I've done it with, in a way that the hook is held here up top um, with some chain in, in the back. Yeah. So you just hook the bucket. Oh, if I can get the bucket right there. Yeah. We're going to put some water. You ready? I don't know how warm this is. Oh my I gosh. Add some water in. Sorry, Everett. So this is amazing. I, I mean, I would love to know how many tries it took you to get this down point. You know what? Not very many. Okay, so you figured this out pretty quickly. It's pretty quick, and I'll have full instructions. It'll be up on the website. with And the measurements, you just kind of play with the, the chain. That's really all it is. Okay. Wherever you screw the chain in the back to hold this up, and you're good to go. Now, behind you, yes. you've got a bucket with some wet sponge balls. Oh, oh, oh. I think I'm going to clear out of the way, because okay. I don't know how good your aim is. All right. No, I'm getting it nice aim. and wet for you, Ev. You're going to aim at the target here and yeah. we'll see if this works. All right, Fingers so I just crossed. have to get it at a Frisbee. Yeah, get it at a Frisbee. Woo! After the exactly. show, it's gonna be great. It's delightful. Uh, <laughs> now, if you want to take it up a notch from here, because yeah. you know it's hard to top a dunk bucket. But that's awesome. I know you, you and I, we both love our photo ops. Yes, so we do. So I've done this really simplistic photo face board. So anybody can pop in behind. You can have this as a station to, you know, take some fun candids yeah. as a family. Or okay, why don't we get a couple of volunteers? Do we get Nolan? We have our intern Rebecca. Come on in here. Don't be shy. It's just a little. He's got goggles on. How <laughs> are you do this? He's learned. As a pie throwing station. Okay. So, hey, take pictures for the first There's part. One. And for the second half, have some fun with pie. So I should uh -oh. probably stand a little bit away. Yes, I would. Okay. Uh -oh. So, uh -oh. do I throw the pie? Do I just. I would just go right for it. Do it, do it, do it.
you. It's you guys, fun. that is so fun. Think about this in your neighborhood. You can do siblings against each other. You can do neighbors against each other. It's so much fun if you're the one throwing the pie. Okay, thank you so much, LA. Great DIYs. Yes, put it there.